Morning girls, happy Friday. How are you today? I hope you're really well. Uh, I hope that you're happy and that you've been enjoying your learning from home. One thing about what we've been doing though the last few days is the people at school that are still here, the teachers and some of the students uh, and your lots of your um, leaders and me even are really missing you. I've been missing seeing you at the gates, I've been missing seeing you and chatting to you in the playgrounds and coming to your classes. So today I thought that instead of doing that because you're not here, I thought that I'd read you a story because it's something that I really love. So let's have a look. It says, what do you do with an idea? And that's the name of this picture book that I've chosen for you today. It's written by Kobe Yamada and it's illustrated by May Beeson. Let's have a go together, girls, and read it together. What do you do with an idea? One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what other people would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. <clears throat> it grew bigger and we became friends. And at first I believed them. Actually, I thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realised, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe even a little bit crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it, and I fed it good food. I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up to the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, it's good to have the ability to see things differently. In the end, I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my eyes. It spread its wings, took flight and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but from, it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realised what you do with an idea, you actually change the world. Wasn't that a good story, girls? I just wanted to say a few more things at the end. I just wanted to remind you girls that you're not alone. We're here with you and if you're ever feeling lonely and, and not quite sure about who's around, just remember that all of the Danebank teachers and staff in your Danebank family are here with you. Another thing to remember is to be kind to yourself and to be kind to each other. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Keep smiling, work hard, keep learning, and um, we'll chat again soon. All the best. Bye.